Hello, I'm Ruth and I'm part of the Salon System Back to Basics team. Um, so we're going to be talking about consultations, particularly brow consultation using Reflexil Tint. So as we know, consultation is your kind of first port of call to even meeting your client. And so it's important that you get that relationship right from the beginning. You need to give as much information as you can, as well as gaining a lot of information from your client. It's a two way thing. Um, not only is this sort of establishing the relationship, but, you know, we, we need to work safely and we need to make sure that our client is, is suitable for the treatment, that we can give her what she wants, um, particularly with brows. I think a lot of people think that we've got a magic wand and they're going to go out with these most blended brows when they've got very little hair. So they may, you may have to put them on a, a little bit of a regrowth program. So it's important that they understand this from, from the outset so that they know what they're, they're in for. Um, not only does it, you, not only do you have to go through all of the medical history to make sure that they're not on any drugs that will um, interact with, with the tint, um, that they're not pregnant or hormonal or menopausal or have been on any antibiotics because this can affect the tint itself and the colour and how it works. But also um, whether they've had any other treatments on the brows before, whether they've had uh, semi-permanent makeup or microblading, that sort of thing, just to make sure that that skin is completely healed, that there's no swelling or cuts and abrasions in the area. Um, and it's, it's important, obviously, to, to find this all out even before you, you start your patch testing. So patch testing, um, patch testing, number one crucial, crucial thing that you must do 24 to 48 hours before treatment. There isn't any guarantees that, um, you know, if your client doesn't react, then there's no guarantees that she will go on to have a reaction. But you have a duty of care to make sure that you're working in a safe environment. Um, so patch testing must be done before every treatment. It must be marked on your record card and it must be signed. Do it all digitally so everything then can sort of be in one place. It's much, much easier. Um, the brows itself, you will need to explain about colour, you know, look in the mirror with your client and, and consult with her and say, look, you've got this colour, hair, eyes, undertone, skin, da da da. Um, she may want a complementary colour brow, she may want a contrast, so it's important that you, you find this out to begin with. She's probably going to be quite nervous if she's new to brows because um, all brow technicians have their own style. You know, you might be, you might have a played down style or you might be quite an exaggerated brow technician. So it's important that, you know, you, you both sort of talk in the same language and you want to give her something that she wants. Um, after tone, then we'll look at colour, sort of, yep, yeah, colour and shape. So, you know, use your measurements, explain that every brow is going to be different because you will be creating a bespoke brow for her. You can create a custom colour for her by adding either warm shades, cool shades. You can mix and match. You can take colour out to then add colour in. Um, if she does react to the oxidised tint, the oxidised tint, what I mean by oxidised tint is the, the, the tint and the peroxide that you mix together. If she's allergic to that, cause that does contain known um, allergens. There are alternatives. Um, Reflect still do a sensitive tint as well, which is a two-step tint, um, which is sil silver nitrate and plant extracts, and it works quite magically. But anyway, we'll save that for another day. Um, yes, yeah, so you, you'll have looked at different colour, different shapes, different tones, different measurements, and also whether she needs to go on a, re a regrowth programme. Give her a little lesson in how to do her brows up while she's going through that that growing phase and really really hone in to her to like do not touch these brows until you come back to see me because it's so tempting if there's just one or two and you're like please don't do it it's going to take us a while to get to the end result probably so that's my definite number one do not use your tweezers if you're having a brow treatment in a salon unless of course you're in lockdown um, but even then, it's probably not a good idea. Trim, trim them with the scissors. This is not going to last forever. You know, embrace those big, bushy boyfriend brows while you can. Um, so anyway, I hope that's helped a little bit about uh, brow consultation um, using Reflect. So, oh, just one thing as well. Talked about taking colour out of the brow um, using the blonde 
tint, which is in effect, it is a, it's a bleaching paste, but it's especially designed for the brow. Um, you will need to patch test that as well. And that you just patch that, that in, in exactly the same way as you would a normal tint. So um, that's all for me. I'm sure um, you'll be seeing more of me in the days and weeks to come. Um, stay safe, stay inside and see you next time.